Good morning everyone. We have a fun little SUP boarding adventure planned for you today. But the SUP boarding, that's not even the best part. The best part is where we're taking the SUP board. Dog Beach. Best of all, we have Winnie coming with us. And I'm wearing my lucky hat. Nothing ever goes wrong with this hat. So all we need to do now. Pull the doors, drop the top, and go have some fun. We just call this Dog Beach. The place we're actually going is Smyrna Dunes Park, located in New Smyrna Beach. We'll leave the address for you in the description box. From the Disney World area, this is about a 90 minute drive, and from the Universal Resort area, it's about a 75 minute drive. This park is open daily, starting at 6 a.m., but closing time varies throughout the year. Today, the park is open until 9 p.m. Admission is $10 per vehicle, or you can get a $20 annual inlet park pass. Parking is free for the handicapped and for disabled veteran registered vehicles. Smyrna Dunes Park is a 184-acre inlet park located along the southern shoreline of the Ponce de Leon Inlet. The park has over two miles of wide, elevated boardwalk. Pets are allowed on the inlet shore beach area, but they are never allowed on the Atlantic Ocean beach side. This is Pavilion 1. We've got some picnic tables in there, so if you wanted to grab some food out of your car and have your picnic here, that'd be fine. Very important to note, this is where the bathrooms are. Here's a map of the park. So there's all the boardwalks. And then on this side, the inlet side, see the little paw prints? This means um, the dogs are allowed here. Uh, then we have the south jetty, and this side is the Atlantic side. The dogs are not allowed. But this is over two miles of elevated boardwalk. After 10 a.m., the dogs are not allowed on this boardwalk, or any of the boardwalk, really, but there is a little walking path next to the boardwalk for the dogs after 10 a.m. Okay, we've made it. <laughs> Let's unpack. Winnie's very excited. <laughs> yeah. So there's Winnie, the star of the show, but look at Nikki. She's got a backpack on the front, so it's a front pack, and then the cooler backpack on the actual back. <laughs> All right, that's what she looks like. Let me gear up. Great, Rex got my sup board. Uh, yeah, let me turn around and model it for you. <laughs> I think it's about 20 to 25 pounds. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> Even though we are here before 10 a.m., we're still going to take this natural walking path. There is a fishing pier, newly built, just that way. And that is the only area of this beach that I could fly the drone. This way, the drone is not allowed. She's excited. She remembers this place. Uh, she's very excited. We need to stop and get her some water. Let's get to the beach and get some water. Come okay, on. come on, let's go. Forget joining a gym. These adventures, these are my workouts. I was telling everyone back there, Nikki, forget the gym membership. These adventures are a workout. You probably got 10 pounds on you. Oh, easy with the, like, cause this is full of water and ice. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. My biggest concern was like, her Winnie walking and having her paws get hot. Yeah. But with having plenty of grass and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, soft path. Yeah, she's walking on the grass a lot. Yeah, um, I'm not so worried about her paws getting out here and mm -hmm. heat like that. Oh, I think our turn off is going to be right up here. We'll get to the beach uh, this second little entryway. Every so often along the way, they do have the little baggies to pick up the poop, which is good. She's gone three times already. And we have seen manatees here before 
Um, one actually swam in between me and Winnie the last time we were here. Okay, making our way to the actual beach area now. Well, that was, she sees the water. You made it to the beach, Winnie. So she's heading straight for the water. Winnie's gonna take a dip and we'll get her some water to drink. I'm gonna break down the sup board and show you all about that. So, you guys have fun. It's a workout because I do have a manual pump. <laughs> Takes me about seven and a half minutes to blow this thing up for you guys. The first thing I need to show you is the bag. So when you order your inflatable sup board, it does come with this nice big old backpack. Carry the board in it and everything you need to get going. So let's open it up and show you what comes with it. Okay, let's dig into it. This is the repair kit that comes with it. Hopefully we won't need that too much at all. And then we have the actual pump, which I will demonstrate in just a moment. Next up we have the two-piece adjustable paddle and for the moment you've all been waiting for the actual inflatable sup board the boat breeze and there is our uninflated inflatable sup board all rolled out. I'm gonna pump it up there's a valve right here. There's your valve. It should take me about seven minutes to pump this up. They do sell electric pumps if you're inclined to use one. Part of doing these adventures for me is just being an active person. So for now, I think I'm going to go with the manual air pump. We'll see if I change my mind over time. like a slight little piece of shade I don't know ten psi right now five more to go honey the last five psi is the hardest we got it done in record time <laughs> just kidding I'm really gonna consider that electric pump now one more thing left to do put on the back fin I'll let you do the honors. It's your board. Slide that in. And then you clip that little piece there for safety. Clip, I heard it click. Yep. All done. Good stuff. Water looks pretty flat right now. We get a little bit of ripples when some boats come by, some waves. But I think it'd be pretty good for you, hun. You get it down there, I'll bring your paddle back. And I'll turn on the GoPro for you. Oh yeah, the GoPro. Yep. 
There she goes, paddling out. She'll stand up in a minute. When she gets out there, bet she'll uh, pop up off her knees there. Is it a lot easier going this way? Yeah. The current's just taking you? Yeah. This mama? She gonna swim with mama? <laughs> yeah, like it. Just do a loop. <laughs> There's mama. So how'd it feel? Um, does it feel stable? It does. It's just the current is really strong. Yeah. It, it's, it pulls hard. And I think the water just flows that way into the ocean. Yes, it does. So I think that if I get out and I just paddle, you know, let the current take me, mm -hmm. just to get comfortable, just you can float down and walk up. Yeah. Like we did at um, Rock Springs when we went tubing. You tube. That's true. Yeah, tube down the spring and then walk back up. Yeah. Same thing here. Exactly. It's pretty bored. Isn't it? Well, there she goes. She's gonna walk it down and just. She's basically just floating down. She's not even. She doesn't even have to paddle with that. With this inlet here, the breeze and the current will take her right to me. As I mentioned previously. The last time Winnie and I were here, we were swimming out here and a manatee swam right in between us. But as I pan over to New Smyrna Beach, I should mention, it is the shark capital of Florida. So, uh, be careful, Nikki. Although maybe the current is not so strong that close to the shore. I mean, she's not really leaving the shoreline at all. You know, eight feet maybe. Want to go swim with mama? <laughs> oh yeah, she wants mama. <laughs> She's gonna swim with you. Don't you swim with mama? Go get mama. Swim with her. Why after you swim do you just want to roll around in the sand? Yeah, she's going to get a bath at the little bath station before she gets back in the Jeep. We brought shampoo. Ah, uh, the life of a dog. As Nikki and Winnie enjoy the water, I'm going to walk you guys around the beach. So back that way, around that corner there, that is the fishing pier. This leads into the Indian River. There we have the lighthouse. And you know what? Let me zoom in on the lighthouse. Also over there is the other park. See that kind of a beachy, sandy area? We can get into that area as well. Here, this is Ponce de Leon Inlet. And it leads right into the Atlantic Ocean there. The other side of the jetties. We'll get closer to the jetties. Maybe is uh, New Smyrna Beach. For our purposes of sup boarding, we really want to kind of hang out in the first couple entryways to the beach. Because once we get to here, Nikki says, about to where this lighthouse is in this area, the current really pushes her out. So for the sake of sup boarding, we kind of keep it, you know, on that side of the waterway. All types of watercraft. Even Nikki Supboard using this area. Well, they're leaving me for snacks and water. Which I should mention, that's why you need to bring some type of cooler or anything. Really no amenities on this beach. The big benefit of this beach is the privacy. Look, I mean, just a few people on the inlet side here, mainly with their dogs. We got some people up here doing some fishing, but the thing I like about coming here is that it is so secluded and, you know, of course, having our dog with us. Here we have some signs warning us not to go back in this area as there are some endangered species of bird protected area back here. 
We're getting close to the Atlantic side over there. I can see the jetty and I can see the cars parked. I just wanted to pan this way to show you all this open beach area. Again, why I like this beach. So secluded. And bring our Winnie girl to play. In addition to their snacks and water, I kind of think Nikki didn't want to leave the sup board. Be so far away from it to have it out of eyesight. Maybe it is better that she sticks close to the board. A little closer to the shore. We're at low tide. It's real cool having the water right here. I'll just walk through it for fun. We're making our way over to the jetty. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff over there. It's the end of one of the boardwalk sections. Just comes right out there. Nice place for you to hang out and enjoy the view. We are here on a weekday. It will get more crowded on the weekend, but today, very light, even over here on the Atlantic side. Here is the jetty. We've got some people fishing off the rocks there. This side of the rocks, that is New Smyrna Beach. Okay, let's just cross over these rocks to the Atlantic side of the beach. Ooh, felt a little bit like American Ninja <laughs> making that trek over the rock. We are now on the Atlantic side of the jetty. This is New Smyrna Beach. Unlike the inlet side, lifeguards. There are no lifeguards on the inlet side. They're at the dunes. And also, I can see from here, still a ways away. I don't think zooming in is gonna help, but I do see some bathrooms out that way. So this side will have more amenities, the lifeguard, the bathrooms, and I'm pretty sure further down that way will be some uh, hot dog stands or places to get food and rent some tubes or floaties and stuff like that. I do have a thought. I do wonder if I could park on this side right here by the jetty and then just scoot Winnie to the other side of the jetty. Um, probably if I came down to the beach, because you have to pay to get on the beach uh, with your vehicle, they may notice Winnie in the car and tell me no to drive around to, to where I parked. So I have half a mind to try that eventually. Maybe I could get away with it, maybe I couldn't. Will Rex try the subboard? <laughs> no, kayaks. Kayaks. I was going to say, not a canoe. Let's talk about your new sup board. I apologize for any wind noise. There's a good breeze today. Yeah. Um, first time on in inflatable. I mean, like the portability is great, you know, so getting it down here was easier. Yeah. But I am fighting a really hard current and a strong breeze today. Yeah. But I mean, like in terms of being able, like stability, same stability as always. It's okay. just great. That's the, the key feature I was wondering about is the stability compared yes. to the hard ones. Mm -hmm. And you, as far as being on the water, on the board, it feels stable. Oh, totally. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a shorter board. They actually have another board that's like a foot or This one more. is 10 feet, eight inches. Yes. I think the next one up from this, the same model, 11 feet, six inches. Now this is a boat product. Yes. So I did a lot of research and I thought I would start out with boat. Mm -hmm. Just from online reasons. Very big on uh, water vessels and inflatables. Yes. They do have several inflatable models of different things. For example, an inflatable kayak I'm considering. Mm -hmm. And an inflatable dock. I mean, there's just, I mean, it, it's cra crazy stuff. I mean, yeah. in, even an inflatable boat. Like mm -hmm. literally yeah. a boat with a motor that you stick yep. on. Yep. A ton of accessories. You can get one that's more like suited for fishing. Mm -hmm. So they have little inserts for your rods and everything. Yes. So, but you are a stand-up paddle boarder. So we got this for you. I love it. Because, uh, yes, I know you love uh, sup boarding. Um, but maybe in the future, maybe I'll get an inflatable kayak. Easy to transport too. Right. They fold up, go in the bag, back of the Jeep, no problem. Yeah, and fairly lightweight. They're not that heavy. I mean, I could handle the backpack myself, mm -hmm. yep. you know, because I'm carrying the board myself. Well, you know, the, backpack, the backpack was, I think, 20 to 25 pounds with it all rolled up and everything in it, the pump and the uh, whatever else we carried in there. There you go. There's your first-hand account, your first-hand review of an inflatable sup board, the Boat Breeze. 
when we're done having our fun I'll show you how to deflate this and roll it up put it back in the bag but what I will do when I get home I'll hose it off with fresh water and you'll get the sand off and the salt water off later on in the year I think we're gonna to go to the park on the other side of this waterway I see some kayaks over there and I see a sandbar over there too might be a little more calm for Nikki and the current might not be as bad over there so later in the year I think we'll try that who knows maybe by then I'll have that inflatable kayak okay you want to take one last run before we go get something to eat yes absolutely and just to let you know there are a lot of dog friendly hotels around here and dog friendly restaurants and mm -hmm. we're going to take you to one as we're heading out you do bring your pets on vacation some awesome places to go yeah mama and puppy walking down the beach what a beautiful sight we're just sitting here on the beach she sees mama she wants to get in the water I thought we were just gonna sit here and watch her yeah let's sit here and watch her all right she wants to go let's go okay go get mama <laughs> she can't she can't just sit and watch you all done step one remove that fin so pull that out mm -hmm. slides right off one undo this cap and then we want to push down and go to the left with this See, then fits nice and securely in the bag. Then the paddles go in yep. and the pump goes in. And the the tail fin. Just like that. The only thing, we're at the beach. Sand is everywhere. It's coarse, it's rough, and it gets everywhere. Okay, Anakin. I don't like sand. It's coarse, and rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. And there's Nikki with the front pack, the backpack, and the dog. Good thing we're young, honey. <laughs> but just like you said, don't let the old creep in. <laughs> don't let the old creep in. What you don't want to hear once you have this on is, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Once this is on, we are Oscar Mike to the vehicle. I meant I have to untangle Winnie. It wasn't <laughs> but a split second, bud. Oh, it scared me though. <laughs> Let me amend my previous statement. I meant to say, good thing we're young and in shape. <laughs> not, we're not either. <laughs> hey, round is a shape, so I'm in shape, baby. <laughs> but maybe through the course of all these Rick's road trips, all these adventures, maybe it will get us in shape <laughs> or it'll kill us. Now, as far as the places we're gonna be visiting on these road trips with the SUP board, I think this is the worst walk, the longest one. I would agree. Just the way Dog Beach is here. But the... it's well worth it though. I mean, really, you put in the effort to get there and to get back, but I mean, it's just an awesome place to take your dog. Yeah. so wonderful and everybody there was just smiling and happy and said good morning yeah it was just it's just a friendly happy place to mm -hmm. come and hang out with your dog but the dunes here is known having to do some hiking to get to the beach area well at least one of the three of us will smell good in the car and at lunch maybe two of the three i don't know about you nikki <laughs> me and winnie we'll be all right a wash a rinse a dry this is what we call a beauty party. She did such a good job. She gets a new baby. A new baby? Oh, a new, oh baby. A new baby. Oh, yes. Oh. Looks like everyone's ready for lunch. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's head down to Flagler Avenue, see if we can get in that place. So we are taking you to Cafe Heavenly. It is a three minute drive from New Smyrna Dunes Dog Beach Park. 
And so what you're gonna do is when you're leaving the park, you're going to make a right onto Flagler Avenue. And there it is, Cafe Heavenly. And here's our little table at Cafe Heavenly. They are so dog friendly here. They bring us a little treat. They brought you a treat, Winnie. She gets ice cream. How sweet. Cafe Heavenly sandwiches and smoothies. And look at that, lobster rolls, pizza, beer. Let's go inside and check out the joint. <laughs> Here's a brief look at the menu. We're not going to go over everything, but they have salads, like a chicken Caesar. They have sandwiches, such as heavenly sliders, which is like a buffalo chicken slider. They have heavenly lobster sliders, lobster rolls, grilled cheese and lobster, wood fire pesto chicken, pulled pork tacos, a Cuban sandwich, a BLT, turkey sandwiches, veggie sandwiches, and I bet you, because they have wood-fired pizzas, several different kinds of pizza, I bet those are good too, and then the treats. Here's Nikki's lobster roll. Comes with a little Caesar salad as well. And then here's my grilled cheese and lobster. Also with a little Caesar salad there. Hold the phone, that my friends, is Texas toast. <laughs> when you want lobster? Do you like seafood? Too bad, baby. This is for us. Cafe Heavenly, what did you think? You had the lobster roll. Uh, it was incredible. Best lobster roll I've ever had in my life. The bread, the, the lobster itself was so fresh and tender, the butter. Oh my gosh, it was Heavenly. <laughs> so apropos. It is. And I had the uh, grilled cheese and lobster yeah. on Texas toast, I mind you. Yes, I picked yours up. Yours was heavy. That <laughs> is was. a heavy weighted sandwich. I could only eat half of it. I ate all of them. I like, honestly, I was ready to stop eating after the first two thirds of it. And I it just tasted so good. I was just like, oh well. <laughs> so mine was really good too. But the place, it is known for the lobster rolls, they told me. Yeah. Just buy one, get the second one half price, which okay. I should have done probably. Yeah, you should have, because it was so phenomenal. Oh my God. It's worth a trip just to come here. It is, it is. <laughs> so do it all. But for now, we're going to, uh, Enjoy a smoothie yes. on the drive home. Mm -hmm. Ah, we've made it home. <sighs> that was a road trip. How many roads did we take? <laughs> we, we did the turnpike. Uh -huh. We did the 429 toll. We did a couple state roads. We did Interstate 4. A couple county roads. <laughs> we did a neighborhood road. <laughs> so yeah, that's a road trip. It was. But good thing uh, I was wearing my lucky hat. What? Lucky hat. Um, no, you wore that on the canoe trip. What happened there? What happened with the canoe trip? Hmm. There's no video evidence of that canoe trip uh, on this channel. Not on this channel. There's video evidence of her telling the story on the other You're one. You're saying it's not lucky? No. Yeah. It's a good thing you didn't get bit by a shark today. Maybe it is lucky after all. Aha. Uh -huh. back to a lucky hat. <laughs> but I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Adventure is out there. You can find it on a road trip. Now, who wants to help me clean up? <laughs>